Many centuries ago, in the ancient country of Persia, there lived two brothers. Qasim Baba was wealthy and lived in a big house, while Ali Baba was poor and only had a small dwelling near the edge of town. Every day, Ali Baba went into the forest to work as a woodcutter. One day, while working in a new grove of trees, he heard the sound of horses' hooves. Knowing robbers had attacked people in these woods, he cautiously climbed a tree to watch. There, in a clearing by a huge rock, he saw a band of thieves. He counted 40 in all. The leader faced the rock and called out, Open sesame! And a strange thing happened. Alibaba couldn't believe his eyes. The rock had opened up like a giant door, revealing a cave beyond. The thieves marched into the cave, carrying their sacks of stolen goods. Alibaba realized what he had discovered. It's the thieves' treasure hideout. Soon the 40 thieves returned from within the cave. After mounting their horses, the robber chief shouted, Close sesame! And the rock door swung into place, leaving nothing to reveal the hidden wealth sealed inside. Then, while the amazed Alibaba watched, the thieves rode away. Soon Alibaba got enough courage to go close to the rock and try the magic words. Open sesame! The door obeyed. Nervously, he went inside the passageway. It led him to a giant cavern filled with chests of jewels and bags of gold and silver. Never had Alibaba seen so much treasure. But he knew now he had learned a dangerous secret. If the robbers found him here, they would slay him on the spot. Quickly, he gathered up two sacks of gold and dashed out. Close, sesame. Alibaba hurried for home. He told the story to his wife, but she said it was wrong to keep the money. It was stolen and must be returned to its true owners. But Alibaba was afraid that if the news got out, the robbers would know that he had found their secret hiding place. So he went to his rich brother Kasim for advice. He told him the complete story, even the secret words. Open sesame, eh? My dear brother, tell no one about this. You were wise to come to me. I will decide what to do. But the greedy Kasim decided to rob the cave himself that very night. The sight of the treasure was more than he'd expected. He began gathering and counting stacks of money. His greed caused him to forget the danger he was in. <laughs> I should be richer than a Maharaja! The bandits had returned. Kasim Baba cringed in terror as they crowded around him. The angry thieves beat Kasim with swords and clubs, then left him to die, tied to a post as a warning to others who might want to steal the treasure. The next day, not finding his brother at home, Alibaba decided to go to the cave once more. Inside, he found his brother half dead. Kasim, what have they done to you, my brother? But the brother could not speak. I, I must get him to a doctor at once. Later, the robbers returned to their cave and found their victim gone. Someone else knows our secret. Go to every doctor in town and find out who has treated a wounded man. So the 40 thieves went to track down their captive. Early that evening, an oil merchant stopped at Alibaba's house and knocked on the door. Please, sir, may I stay the night and leave my oil jars in your courtyard so my donkeys can rest? Oh, please be my guest. You are welcome. Forty oil jars lined the walk to Alibaba's house. But only one jar contained oil. The others held a thief, for the merchant was the robber chief in disguise. Remember, only when I give the signal will you come out. Then we will destroy Alibaba and his whole household. Later that evening, while Alibaba's wife was serving the meal, she noticed a hidden dagger in the sleeve of the merchant. This must be a thief, she thought. Our lives are in danger. She ran out to get help when the voice called out softly, Is it time? Not yet. She peeked into each jar and found someone hiding. When she saw the last jar with oil, she had an idea. 
With the help of two neighbors, the oil was brought into the kitchen to boil. Then, as the neighbors carried the oil, Alibaba's wife dropped ladles full of the hot liquid into each jar. Out popped the thieves in pain and terror. Confusion turned to panic, and the thieves were routed. Off into the night they sped, never to return. What is that? Alibaba and the disguised robber chief heard the noise. My men have come out early to destroy your household, so now I must make short work of you. But Alibaba's wife and the neighbors captured the robber chief in one of his own jars. With the danger from the thieves past, Alibaba turned over the secret treasure to the authorities. His reward from the grateful citizens was so large that Alibaba and his family were comfortable for the rest of their lives. When all the treasure was gone, the mysterious cave door closed, never to open again.